Hey everybody, welcome to Hall Pass here on the GCAP Recap. I'm GCAP and today I'm going to be going over a lot of the movies I've collected for pretty good prices from various outlets over late summer to early fall. I'm just falling behind here on my backlog on showing people a lot of stuff so I, th I figured I would just do kind of one big video, play, play a little catch up here because there, there's some cool things and some cool stories behind some of the movies I've collected. But before I get started, I want to send a big thank you to all of my current subscribers. I always appreciate your support. For all of you new viewers, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Please give it a like. Also click the notification bell for future updates. Share this video. It would help me greatly in trying to continue the growth of this channel. But without further ado, let's get capping. So it's just kind of funny, some of these ones I've picked up have already been announced as re-releases and 4Ks, but uh, I'm going to start with Walmart. Walmart, we had a power outage here. And, you know, they, they said it wasn't going to be, the power wasn't going to be on for another few hours. So went to Walmart to kill some time, do some needed shopping, found one of those big bins in the electronics department with DVDs and all kinds of stuff in there. And it was no, any item in there was no more than $3. So I just went in and was trying to, collect some things kill some time find some things but so we have here karate kid 2 which i absolutely adore i love all the karate kid movies um this is probably the more serious of all the karate kid movies it's mr miyagi's story but yeah already been announced for uh it's already already available now in 4k with the other uh the other three but yeah wasn't a lot of money didn't cost me too much so like i say all these are no more than three dollars and most of these i'm about to show you are a dollar unless they're blu-rays Wayne's World Collection. I've been looking for uh, one and two together for a very, very long time. Yes, it's just been announced that they're going to release both of them on Blu-ray. But still, I got this to hold me over for right now for a dollar. So anybody that uh, anybody who's anybody knows Wayne's World, Wayne's World 2. I think they're both fantastic. Actually have here Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil movie. This is my favorite of all the Resident Evil movies. I have yet to see the one that just came out in the theater, but at least with the Mia Jovovich series, this is uh, definitely by far my favorite one, and it was pretty cool to pick up for, for only a buck. I picked up also the Ice Cube collection, particularly for the Friday series, and also for the original Friday, which I used to have a DVD of and totally lost it. So uh, I... I, didn't want to, I don't think I really needed to jump and go grab a Blu-ray for Friday, but this one comes with Friday, next Friday, Friday after next, and all about the Benjamins. The latter here, I haven't seen that yet, so I'll check it out. But that has uh, Ice Cube and Mike Epps from the latter two Friday movies. Picked up The NeverEnding Story. This was awesome. It's also... So it looks like it's been a little <laughs> damaged. It looks like it's already been open, but uh, only a dollar... I think everyone loves the never-ending story, which got a little shot in the arm a couple years ago with season three of Stranger Things. They sang the the theme song. Pull this out here. Legend. Legend, the director's cut. So I have not seen the director's cut in I don't know how long, since I, I think they, they aired it on Sci-Fi many, many years ago. And I know they just released a um a set uh arrow and there was a special edition on uh zavi that my friend picked me up for a, a, a belated birthday gift which was awesome i'm going to do a future video on that later on but that's how long ago i picked it up to pick this video up is before that even came out so <laughs> guess it'll be a collector's one day automatically i already have three dupes in that pile another soon to be dupe the original ghostbusters for a dollar. I surprisingly didn't have the original on any kind of physical media format. And you know, I just I figured I'd pick it up. Why not? There's an awesome new set coming out on 4K. And so I'm going to pick that up. So yeah, that, that's that's going to be a dupe. But I picked it up pretty cheap. And now for my, my blues. Oh, wrong video. No. <laughs> no my blues here. No, but these are, my, these are the Blu-rays I picked up. I did a, a previous video where I picked up 22 Jump Street in the Dollar Tree, in a Dollar Tree Deluge video. Did I not go out and find the Blu-ray for only uh, three bucks? 
So I, I, I have that now. And, and one of the big jokes was on the back of the DVD, it showed you all the deleted scenes you would have had. And then it also tells you that if you would have bought the Blu-ray, all of the extra ones you would have gotten to pick that up. So yeah, now I have the complete set. <laughs> now I just got to wait for that to come out on 4K. But I love, the, I love those. Uh, I love 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street. I think they're great. Another one here for Elysium. I actually saw this in the theater. This is by this is from the director of District Nine and uh, Choppy. I absolutely love uh, love that director. I love his style. This movie is pretty good, and to get this dirt cheap, this is only a dollar. I thought, all right, I'm just gonna definitely grab it. It was the only one in the bin, so I don't know if that was in there by mistake or what. Two of them, though. Here's a cool story. These next two were in the bin. Uh, we could, they couldn't get them to r uh, ring up at the self checkout. So she wound up just, you know, the the person at the counter wound up giving it to me for just, you know, just to, I think like five dollars each. It, um, it chapter two, excuse me, it chapter two, on Blu-ray, five dollars. Uh, I think I went and found later on that this this was like fifteen dollars, but I guess somebody threw it in the bin. I had no idea. I thought it was in there. It's, it's a little cracked up on top. So, um, but it, it chapter two is pretty good. The, the first, the first one I liked much better. Um, that one's okay. So I'll be on the lookout to try to get the first one for that. And then I don't know why I picked this up. I think because it has a slip, but it was a newer release when I picked it up. Once again, I think it was the only one in the store. Somebody actually threw in there by mistake and that's urban cowboy. And you know, John Travolta is in this. Came with the slip cover. It was priced incorrectly. I got it for absolutely, like I said, five bucks. I think that one's supposed to be twenty. So I lucked out. I guess it's not. You know, it's not, not my favorite movie, but it's it's not a bad movie. I wouldn't uh, mind adding it to my collection, especially because it has the slip. My next stack here comes from the local Goodwill, which I actually found some very very cool things in here. At my Goodwill, at least. Um, I, I know some Goodwills are different, at least at mine. Everything in there, even if it's like a whole series set, everything's a dollar. So I did a previous video where I picked up some uh, really, really nice goodies from Goodwill, and I also picked up some good ones here as well. The first one here is The Longest Yard with Adam Sandler. It's the remake of the Burt Reynolds movie. Um, I just, I have, yeah, I do. I'm an Adam Sandler fan, at least uh, at least through that air. I, I really enjoyed his stuff, and that, that's, that's a really, really funny movie. There's some uh, guest stars from the NFL and from pro wrestling. Chris Rock's in it. Awesome movie. And I just showed you that I had uh, Karate Kid too, right? Well, they had one and three there. So there you go. These are now become dupes, but between all three of them, it only cost me $3. And I got some backups, but I picked those up. I also found their Freddy Got Fingered. Tom Green. Now, I know many people hate this movie. I'm not one of them. I, ab I absolutely love this movie. Uh, Tom Green acting crazy back in the, the late 90s, early 2000s. He cracked me up, and <laughs> this movie's pretty funny. It's definitely not for everybody, you know, and, and it's out of print. It's pretty rare. So finding it for a dollar was definitely a huge score for me. So I got Freddy Got Fingered. See, here's a really cool thing is the complete fourth season of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which I'm a huge fan of. So yeah, all the discs are in here. Um, they're, they're in great shape. So okay, you got to make sure when you go to Goodwill to, to check these discs for all you out there that might be new to that game because sometimes there's missing discs in there. Here's the player with Tim Robbins. Pretty good, pretty good movie. It's got the little underbelly of Hollywood. I like that one. I picked up Hot Tub Time Machine for only a dollar, the original one, which I really, really enjoy. And then the entire first season of Dexter, which is uh, between one and four, my favorite seasons. My last two from Goodwill is Logan. Now, the thing that's cool about this set, it comes with the a Blu-ray and a DVD, and it has every version. It has the... The movie that was done in black and white, it has the original color version, and it has a ton of special features. So I really like this movie. I thought this was very, very well done. 
I've always wanted to see the black and white version of this that so many people spoke about. So I can't believe somebody gave that up. Only a buck. Last but not least, Inception. Christopher Nolan, Leonardo DiCaprio, fantastic movie. So once again, one, one I've been looking for for a while. Picking it up for a dollar is a bonus for me. Almost done, guys. My next deck here comes from my buddy James on YouTube and Instagram. James DT Movie Trader. Uh, I'll, I'll include his his information in the link below. He, he sells movies, he mostly trades. I was able to pick up some, some cool DVDs and Blu-rays from him. The first one being The Nice Guys. I actually really enjoy this movie. If you haven't seen this film, Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling, definitely check this out. If you have not seen this movie, check it out. It is fantastic. I love it. I have Purple Rain on Blu-ray. I actually bought this for the wifey. She's a huge Prince fan. She has every version, physical media version, of Purple Rain. So now, as of today, I don't think there's a 4K. I think this is the last release of this on Blu-ray. So as of right now, she has the <laughs> she has her complete set. But yeah, sealed. Never been seen. I, I like Purple Rain too. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I find some humor in it. Maybe where it's not supposed to be funny, but excellent soundtrack. Road Warrior. Love this movie. Yes, I do know that there's a 4K release for it. Cool. Bought this before that was announced. Like I said, it's only a few dollars. So, definitely love the Road Warrior. Don't mind having to upgrade that at some point soon. Here's one some of you all might not have heard of. Uh, Kelly Preston's in this movie. It's uh, Metal Storm. It was one of the 3D movies that came out back when the whole 3D craze was hardcore in the movie theater with... Jaws 3D, Friday the 13th 3D, Space Hunter 3D. This is one of those movies, a um, little bit of a, a lower budget, but I, I haven't seen this movie in probably about 20 years. But I wanted to pick that up. I saw he had it on there for sale, and I figured, why not? Last from James is The Final Girls. This movie is very cool, and it is not what you think. So this was recommended to me by my friend many years ago when it was... Uh, first released cast is phenomenal definitely check that out if you haven't seen it yet i got some goodies at my latest five below dive i got world war z so it comes with the normal n3d version and it has both endings so i'm a big fan of the book i thought the movie was okay different than what i thought but it's, it's not like i hated it the remake of clash of the titans which i've only recently seen believe it or not I, I liked it, so I picked this up. I definitely think it's worth $5. The sequel, Wrath, was... Uh, but the the Clash of the Titans, very, very good. And I'm a big fan of the, the original one. And then they have season one of Mork and Mindy. You probably saw on my Long Island 100 video I put out not too long ago. But I got the second season up in Long Island for like a few bucks. So now I have both of those seasons. I picked up season one of the Brady Bunch. Why not? Oh, come on, every now and then you have to have some wholesome things in your life, right? You have to. And for my last few pickups, I went to a used uh, CD, DVD, Blu-ray, 4K uh, store. It has very, very weird hours, so I'm not, I'm not able to go there all the time. Usually I'm at work when it's open and when <laughs> they have like reverse hours. It's usually like during the day that they're open, but I was um, my, on my first and only trip so far. I actually found a couple of gems. First one here is the Superman 2 Donner Cut. Richard Donner directed the first Superman, which is an awesome movie. The second one is probably my, my favorite comic book movie. It probably has a lot to do with nostalgia. But Richard Donner was to direct that as well. He shot a lot of the movie. There was you know, kind of studio fighting, whatever, creative differences. He wound up leaving the movie to be finished and reshot with a little bit more comedy involved in the second one with that director. So they um, they released a, a Richard Donner cut. So he uses some outtakes and some different things to finish it off. It's definitely not as polished as the Justice League Snyder cut that just came out, but nonetheless picked it up. Uh, says yeah, seven dollars right on there. So uh, that one's that one's pretty hard to find. And yeah, I've I've only seen like little pieces of it on YouTube, but I know that there's 
you know, there's only uh, alternate takes, and there is some new, there is some original footage that was shot, but a lot of it's kind of pieced together. I mean, I have no issues with the original cut, but and but I have that, and I think it's it's this is just something cool to to see to to actually have that because I I don't remember seeing that. Uh, I'll see that in the wild too often. I always see the the normal cut. And last but not least, this is a definitely a pretty unique DVD I found at that store. It was in the 99 cent bin. So it's Demolition University with Corey Haim and Amy Dolans, who I know from other videos I've always spoken about how striking I've always found her. So, but this is a um. It's a special edition of this movie. It's it's called Remembering the Teen Idol. And it has this very nice picture of Corey Haim here. But it's, you know, it's 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 his head and it looks like he's in the heavens with the clouds and and the blue sky behind him. So I guess this probably came out after he passed. You know, so I'm not trying to be a smart ass. It's just take a look at this. Right? I mean, it's uh it's very interesting. I, I I've never seen anything like this. I mean, I've seen this movie. And, you know, it's pretty cool. You know, if you like Corey, if you like Amy Dolan, it's, it's cool. But, yeah, I just, I had to show this one off because it's just such a such a weird kind of set for him. Um, I guess maybe a, a tribute. Maybe there's some of those other movies he did, some of those straight-to-video movies like this that there's a whole set of them and this is just a rando that got returned. But I'm glad I own it. I'm a Corey Hayne fan. So, remembering the teen idol, just a very, very weird thing. So that wraps it up. Uh, how can I do this and get all these movies back in quick? I know, I'll do that TikTok snap edit. Wow, that's a cool trick. Thanks, TikTok. Thanks, Tiki Taki. Anyway, if you have any thoughts or anything at all you want to talk to me about, please leave it in the comment section below. One more quick reminder to please subscribe, like this video, share and uh, the notification bell. Click the notification bell. Help me continue the growth of this channel. Much appreciated, guys. And like I always say, anytime you watch a GCAP recap, you always have a seat at my bar. Till next time.